Okay, so let's go to the next story here. TikTok. Tom, I'm going to go to TikTok. I'm coming to you here with the TikTok story. Rob, if you want to pull up that chart as well on the amount of time we consume on which social. I'm going to read both these stories together, guys. TikTok's U.S. revenue hit $16 billion at Washington threatens ban. That's Financial Times. TikTok's business in charts, according to Wall Street Journal, boasts over 90 minutes of daily average uh, user engagement, surpassing major competitors like YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and Snapchat, according to uh, Aptopia. Aptopia, this consistent engagement underscores its significant impact on users' daily routines and entertainment preferences. Despite its relatively short existence, TikTok has made significant strides in the advertising space, recording a staggering $6.6 billion in U.S. digital ad last, uh, last year. Figures estimate that by eMarketer, take a look at that, as a formidable player, and by the way, meanwhile, their revenue soared to, uh, to $16 billion in 2023, marking record-breaking sales for viral video apps. This is all happening. So uh, despite TikTok's profitability challenge due to exist uh, extensive global expansion efforts, ByteDance reported $28 billion in net, net profits in 2023 with the majority of its business originating from China. So check this out. Go, go, stay on that chart, Rob. Yeah. Look at that. 97 minutes. TikTok's first place, YouTube second, let's say 75, 80 minutes. Facebook is ahead of Instagram. Would you have ever thought Facebook would be ahead of Instagram? What do people do on Facebook that they're not doing on Instagram? It's weird. It's but like okay. families or and older sharing people. family look at, older Look what people. TikTok did to Snapchat. Because Snap would have been there mm -hmm. if TikTok wasn't around. And Pinterest is pretty much gone. And Rob, do you have the other chart from the same article showing... What percentage of ads are up or down? Because there's another one that shows, oh. Yeah, if I you just sent you a bunch of the charts if, on Slack if you want to check that out, Rob. If you have Brandon, Brandon can, can uh, 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 I have it back. you know which one I'm talking about? Oh, uh, not go. that one. Go to the right. That one right there. Yeah. That one right there. Nice. Uh, zoom in a little bit to see. So that's what, quarterly U.S. downloads, TikTok number one, YouTube number two, Instagram 2024, TikTok, Snapchat. Interesting. So YouTube has gone fallen down, I think, to the fifth spot. Go lower, Rob. 21, they were number X. two. Go on the ads. I want to see the ad revenue because ad revenue showed which one was up and which one was down. That was down. the next chart, that one right there. No, that's the age. Go back one, Rob. Is that it? That one. Um, Monthly active users. No, sorry. not that one because X is doing fine. Anyways, there was one that showed the ad. Oh, go back. Oh, it's on the bottom. Go forward, Rob. Go forward. You were just on it like a yeah. second ago. No, go back. Uh, right there. Go to the bottom. bottom. That's on that all the way yeah. to the bottom. TikTok Zoom in. up 32%. That's yeah, the TikTok one right there? TikTok is up. Yeah, there 30, you go. But look at this. Go a little. Okay. Instagram's up. Facebook's up. YouTube's up. Snap, look, look at X. X at the bottom. That's where I was going. Yeah. Minus 55% year-over-year year advertising. And this is something that Don Lemon brought up in the interview with Elon mm -hmm. for an hour. But, Tom, you look at TikTok's number, Okay. In, in, in what they're doing. This is the question that I have in regards to TikTok. And I want to ask you guys here, okay? I was on uh, CNBC the other day with Brian, uh, um, very nice guy, really enjoyed being on it. What's his last name, Brian? I want kill to give me? him credit. No, no, that's no, not kill Fox. me. No, it was a different Brian. If you go on Twitter and- uh, Brian uh, Sullivan, I believe. Is that who it, it is? It could have been. Could have been. Really enjoyed the conversation. Yeah, we talked Sullivan. about TikTok. This guy? Yes, absolutely. Yeah, so, He's a stud. And he asked me questions about TikTok and- Here's, here's what we talked about. I said, so, you know, the whole concern is, well, you know, what about the ban and what about the bill? What's wrong with this? Americans are not happy. Everybody wants TikTok to be gone, et cetera, et cetera. I, then I posed this question, Tom, what happens? Because most people don't realize how big bike then, how many users TikTok has. You know how many users TikTok has? In U.S., it's 150 to 170. Yeah. Do you know how many users TikTok has worldwide? 2.1 to 2.4 billion users okay wow. and the name tiktok is a different name in china okay it's the same app but a different app in china but they use the same technology apparently okay so tom what if ByteDance all of a sudden said the following we're not selling then u.s says we're forcing you to sell you better sell ByteDance says no we're not selling well then guess what we're banning you if they ban, and what if TikTok bite then says, go ahead, we don't care, ban us. What happens if that happens? Because TikTok doesn't seem like they're playing ball with these guys. Meaning bite then's not playing, bite then's sitting there saying, dude, we're not going to play ball with you. They've changed their board to make them happy. They've added people. You were talking about this yesterday, that they've brought certain people in to make the market happy, that they have better people on their board. 
But what if all of a sudden ByteDown says, you know what? Forget it. Go ahead and cancel it, politicians. Go ahead and cancel it. Go ahead. Turn it off. Because Trump did this with Huawei when at one point just eight years ago, people were using Huawei phones in the U.S. And Huawei was a $100 billion company overnight. There was no more Huawei. What are the chances that ByteDance says, screw you, U.S., we're not going to sell in U.S., do whatever you want to do? Well, there's going to be an economic fallout. The first economic fallout is within social media. Let's look at three layers. The first thing, the av advertisers go nuts because the advertising revenue is causing people to sell products. Whether it's blue jeans, Pepsi, or whatever it is, advertisers see that, and it's harder and harder to get. Um, it's harder and harder to manage. We know this. We have a lot of our uh, clients. People are coming to the vault uh, later this year. They're looking for places to advertise. So the advertisers are going to freak out because the reason all that advertising dollars is on uh, TikTok is to get in front of the coveted 18 to 24 and 18 to 30 year old audience. So now I can't advertise to those people to sell my stuff. So that's a problem. Number one. Number two. Two, Facebook and Snapchat. Snapchat has been just languishing, and it's like, what are they going to become? Are they going to pop back up? Does America's youth turn back to Snapchat for things, or do they turn to Facebook? So Facebook and Snapchat will try to jump into the void. The advertisers will be upset, but that is nothing compared to the outcry that will come from the 16 to 24 year old uh, Americans that are completely flipping out. If you take a look at what you're already seeing in these demonstrations, you would have um, strong response to our government as if we took away, you know, you take away a baby's toy. What does it do? It screams and cries, Pat, they will freak out. The users will absolutely freak out. And the ones that are not voting, the, the 18 to 24s that don't vote, don't really pay attention to government will suddenly be, oh, hang on a second. I got a text. Hang on. Hang on. Oh, it's Z. We have closer to 100 million viewers and your back door is unlocked and your neighbor's dog pooped on your lawn again. Well, that's very nice of him. G sent me a text to let me know they're close to 100. But th that's what I think will happen, Pat. You're going to have a the user base. Rob, can you pull up the article I the just biggest. sent you? Tom, that joke would be like top 50. You can do better than that because <laughs> I, you crushed it on the Candace and uh, oh, and murder. The, that was number one oh, all time. Still, people are still talking no, about that it. One, that one, actually, I got calls from Netflix saying, does Tom want to do a special? It was a special. Yeah, we, five we were having a conversation. Five-minute special. Rob, can you pull up this thing I just sent you? This is what I'm interested in, Tom, and I want to get a real sincere answer from you. No jokes. I want a real answer. So $16 billion is the revenue, right? Of the $16 billion TikTok, do you know what percentage of ByteDance revenue is TikTok? ByteDance revenue is $120 billion. Go lower. Wow. Go lower, Rob. So ByteDance revenue right there, if you look at a second paragraph, $120 billion, which is up 40% from a year earlier. But out of the $120 billion, only 16 of it is TikTok. So 16 divided by 120 is 13.3%. What if ByteDance is worried? Because if we buy TikTok in the States and we do a TikTok files, and if we find out who did what with TikTok, what if China's like, there is no, what if Xi calls ByteDance and says, listen, I don't give a shit how much they're going to pay you. You can't sell. Because if you sell, I'm shutting down your other practice in China. Because there's no way in the world, what, how much dirt you think there is if you buy TikTok and you're able to see the level of communication between China and TikTok, how much dirt and credibility you think they'll lose if we see clear communication between China telling how to groom and destroy American kids? How much credibility will China you lose if we identify that? It will make the Twitter files look like a jaywalk. That's exactly okay. what I'm thinking. So from my perspective, as a skeptic, as a strategist, as a person that's thinking from the business standpoint, China shouldn't let U.S. buy TikTok. Uh, and I just walked you through the economic, yeah. the U.S. Uh, U.S. audiences here. The bigger one is this would be a controversy of Internet. This is major thing. This is like atomic spy case between countries. Yes. So that, that's the part that concerns me with this, because if they all of a sudden say, OK, no problem. We're out. Don't worry about it. We're not selling. What statement does that send? Who gets all that power? What stock that goes up immediately overnight if that were to take place? 
I don't know. I think there's a lot of guys right now. And by the way, you know what names were coming up that wanted to buy this? Of course, Mnuchin uh, mm-hmm. had the name on the list. Mm-hmm. I know Rumble made a nice, friendly offer, but they're going to need a lot more cash than that. Larry Ellison and Walmart together, they're on the list as well. Larry wants the retail power in the audience of Walmart, but he already owns a server business. That's right. You were saying that the other day. And also, Microsoft is interested as well. And let's not forget that Microsoft outbid. I don't know who it was they outbid when they, uh, when they won over LinkedIn. And I think they bought LinkedIn for what, 30, 35 billion? And they also own Slack. They have a whole, they have been successfully running services like that. <sighs> yeah, but it, okay. So who would you feel comfortable? Who would you feel comfortable TikTok actually buying TikTok? Who would you say, I wouldn't mind that company buying TikTok? Because like, it, would, it would reveal the gamesmanship taking place behind closed doors with China. And who would be the last person you would want buying TikTok? I'd probably put Larry last. I'd put, excuse me, I'd put... Um, Larry uh, Ellison last? No, no, no. I'd, I'd want him at the top of the he, list. You know, he's first. I'd have Microsoft and Mnuchin last because I think they'd cover it up. And I would take Larry and Walmart at the top of the list because I think Trump would get straight answers from them. I want Mark Zuckerberg nowhere near owning TikTok. I don't oh, know. He already has a monopoly. Right. With hell no. Everything that's going on with I don't think Meta and Facebook. Facebook's Thanks, not Tom. on the list at all. And, uh, and Instagram, don't they also oh. own WhatsApp? Well, I, I don't, yeah, I wouldn't. I don't want. I don't want to create a bigger monopoly that we already have in America. I right don't think now. Facebook would bother because remember, it was Biden's uh, Department of Commerce and Federal Trade Commission that blocked Spirit Southwest. They would no way allow Mark to buy this. And I, and I think because you said this earlier, Pat, when you asked uh, who's the biggest threat right now to the administration, and all that, and I, you guys said Kamala, which I, she's up there for me. But I think it's it's Elon. It poses the biggest threat because think about it, the, the free free speech platforms. I know people keep bringing up China and all this money. At the end of the day, it's the free speech platforms like X and Rumble. They're coming after especially those two because they counter their propaganda. OK, we're seeing it right now with the bloodbath crap. X is the only thing about it. If X didn't exist, if X wasn't. Oh, my God. Think about this, guys. If X wasn't on. They would block all those stories, and right now, Trump would be getting into even more trouble. Because think about it. The deep state, at say what you want, they're in desperation mode, okay? They're looking for any angle, okay, to alter uh, this thing before November. The only way they can get away with stealing the election is they cut out everybody's tongues, cut out, stop X, stop Rumble, stop all this shit to, get, to regain their monopoly on the, on the narrative that the public is seeing. That's the, that, that, to me, is the biggest threat, is letting us... Talk because if this stops, Tom, before the next couple months, because when's it, when the bill it, it passed where and Senate is going to the House, the TikTok ban. Where, where is I know it passed one level. It, it passed in Congress yeah, and then it goes to Congress. Congress going to the Senate, yeah. but the majority. Think about it. And I, I said this last week. Remember that anytime the- Nancy Pelosi is like, hey. Their right to, you know, my other, fr- whenever they say my other, my friends on the other side of the aisle, if they're agreeing with those people, it's not a good sign. That's the threat is us being able to do this mm-hmm. and see.